it's Patrick Hatzel from intensivecareathome.com.au where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy by improving their quality of life and where we also provide tailor-made solutions to hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In last week's blog I asked the question how long can a person stay in intensive care on a ventilator in Australia? You can check out last week's update by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog I want to talk about the three reasons why long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy and their families can do so much better. First of all, thank you for spending the time to watch this video. I really appreciate your ongoing support and efforts to change practice when it comes to long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy and their families. We know from experience that there are still far too many long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy in intensive care units and we also know that there are much better options out there compared to keeping those patients and their families at bay by getting them to stay in intensive care for far too long without looking at how their lives can be improved by taking them home. Given that other first world countries such as Germany have long ago, in fact more than 15 years ago, adopted proven best practice when it comes to looking after long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy in their own homes and given that in many other European countries this proven best practice has also improved many lives of long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy including their families. Australia in that respect is clearly lacking behind when it comes to proven best practice for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy and clearly compared to other first world countries long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy clearly miss out on improving their quality of life and or quality of end of life. As a matter of fact there are three distinct reasons why long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy in Australia can do so much better rather than staying in intensive care long term. Let's look at them. First reason a lot of quote-unquote best practice guidelines as well as experience has been gained when it comes to providing intensive home care nursing services for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy as a genuine alternative to long-term stay in intensive care. Therefore, mechanical home ventilation guidelines have been published to provide intensive care in the home services. You can check out those mechanical home ventilation guidelines on our website and I have put a link to our website below this video. Let's look at the second reason. Opportunities and possibilities for patients and families are not in intensive care and they are outside of intensive care. The same applies to intensive care units. Opportunities to free up expensive and in-demand ICU beds with patients who block beds are not available unless you look outside of current clinical paradigms. And third reason is if anyone still doubts that home care for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy as a genuine alternative to long-term stay in intensive care is not a feasible op option, have a look at those research papers that I attached to this blog below. What are your thoughts? Do you think that current intensive care paradigms in Australia serve long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy and their families well? Leave your comments on the blog. Please also note that Intensive Care at Home has been selected as a preferred provider for Queensland Health Services as part of the recent Hospital in the Home tender. You can also personally contact me on 041 if you want to know more about how we can help you, your intensive care unit and your patients and families. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com.au and I'll see you again in another update next week.